anti-abortion protesters visited NKU last month, sparking debate and curiosity about free speech on campus. The Northerner set out to gauge students' knowledge and opinion of NKU's free speech policy. Well, I'm not uh, that much familiar with it, but I kind of know uh, that we can't say, or we can't say, uh, we can't say a hate speech or speech that slander uh, some part of the, one part of the community. The housing rock outside Norse Commons serves as an anchor of free speech on campus, although it has been vandalized multiple times in the past two years. Um, I am personally not very familiar with the policy. I would hope it would have something against like hate speech or terrifying images, but really I just know nothing about it or the process. I think that a college campus is like kind of like a freedom area and like anyone can express their opinions, but I mean there is a point where you know, maybe it's a little too much and you're kind of not scaring people, but you know, kind of making them feel uncomfortable. And I think that maybe they should look into that a little more. I don't know how they could necessarily fix it, but just looking into it and just kind of seeing what the general population on campus thinks about certain things that happen on campus or certain opinions that are like heavily expressed on campus, like just kind of listening to the students a little more and, you know, like having somewhere that they can express their concerns at. While some students were unsure of NKU's policies, other students offered suggestions. Take action, I guess, because they don't really do anything about it. Just send an email, short email, saying we're sorry, something, something, so just take action. A policy statement from the university notes that NKU supports the right to peaceful expression, and any organization may hold a demonstration so long as it does not interfere with students' education or violate others. The full statement can be found on NKU's website.